thanks for tuning in. This is Off to Bottoms coming with another video review. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Napoleon Bonafrog, the youngest mutant ninja frog, and hilariously voiced by the guy who did Napoleon Dynamite. I absolutely loved how they took that Napoleon Bonafrog figure and or character, I should say, and just had a whole bunch of fun with him. I think it's terrific. Uh, as you can see, you got the nice new Ninja Turtle uh, card there in the back. Come around here to the actual back of the package and it says out to prove that he can be a great ninja napoleon bonafrog is considered the little brother in the mutated frog family when he attempts to take on mikey in the forest he gets a chance to show off his ninja skills but is a little too clumsy to pull it off. Armed with his spear and extremely long tongue, he is ready to take on anything, despite what his brothers say. With great loyalty and determination, he helps bring his family of frogs and the turtles together. And then on the back of the package, you can see all the other figures that are currently available, including some that are coming out, such as Karai in her serpent form, uh, Monkey Brains, obviously Napoleon Bonafrog, and then Mondo Gecko. I really do hope they release the rest of the uh, frog characters that would just be absolutely terrific uh, and then obviously also he's you got savage mikey right there as well but uh, for the packaging on this guy that's about it actually looks pretty decent i'm curious to see what he's like so without further ado though let's get this guy open and see how cool he actually is all right, guys, so here we have Napoleon Bonafrog opened up and out of his packaging. And I, look, and I, like I said, I am really quite impressed with how this guy looks. Now, unfortunately, it is Playmates, so there are some things that we do have to kind of expect with a lot of their basic figures. Now, the first being that the articulation is a little bit uh, awkward on this guy. Uh, that's basically one of the biggest downfalls with him. Uh, the other thing is that he doesn't have the the spots that he actually had in the cartoon. You can see that in some molded areas, uh, especially around here in the head, that you can see where there's some sections that are raised a little bit. That probably, I mean, is, and that's throughout his entire body. There's a, on his back and on his butt. You got some here on his arms and everything. Uh, that's where he would have that darker green and kind of brownish color kind of painted on him but it is lacking on here and that's a little bit unfortunate the other thing is that y you can see that's how his arms basically are there's no rotation or anything up here or a cut at the bicep or anything so the only rotation that you have is, is this you, you can move them in and out like so i mean they're on pins so you get a nice range of motion there just the lower part of the arm is stuck in this position so you're really kind of locked in some various poses uh, the look on him is, is pretty good though I, I do like how they got the mud on here with the stick and then they even painted the green uh, leaf coming out really nice you got that very derpy kind of hey guys gosh it's it's obviously napoleon and they did a good job of capturing it. he got his little buck tooth right there uh, he even has his t-shirt that says happiness is friends with his little unicorn he's got his painted uh, fanny pack on there and then he even painted his weapon uh, they didn't paint his little ankle bracelet I, I guess you could say but all in all the paint applications on here are pretty good they just kind of skimped out on some of those other ones but it's the articulation that really does hurt this figure because you you can see it i I mean, you could only really kind of pose him in something, uh, you know, like this. Like he's going to use his the spear. And, and that's actually a pretty cool pose. I don't mind that. I mean, and that's probably how I'm going to have him display. But I, I do wish that you could rotate those arms. Now, for the rest of his articulation, you can see that the head does rotate. It's on just a little cut joint. You got the pin right here for the shoulders that allow you to move it in and out. And you can rotate it. He does rotate at the waist. And then for the uh, hips, they move in and out. And then they rotate like that. They're the same kind of pin that the shoulders have just th these ones are a lot more useful i suppose so you do have that you got some peg holes down here which is kind of interesting uh, but so you can just have him like sit right there and maybe have his hands on his hips like gosh i wish i had some cool ninja skills or some other kind of skills just have him pondering or something like that but i mean all in all it, it is a cool looking figure uh there is some things that i wish they would have changed on it but again it's a basic figure uh he does come with his uh, spear weapon it's just this molded brown piece of plastic you got the little rock and then some molded rope right down here and then just the, the stick section so nothing overly spectacular uh now for size comparison or as my buddy pixel dan likes to say it's comparison time here you have him next to the vintage napoleon and Bonafrog. And you can see that uh, they had a lot of colors back in there. Well, this is a variant of it that had some extra colors and everything, but it, it does look much different 
I mean, this guy almost has more of a toad kind of look, and that's a frog, and they don't like being called frog or toads. You know, size-wise, they're about the same. He's a little bit taller, but this has a little bit more articulation. I mean, you have the cut right there, which, like I said, I wish that this had. You also do have a rotation here at the wrist itself, so you do get a little bit more articulation with this guy than you do with the new modern figure, which is kind of unfortunate because I, I really feel that it should be the other way around, but I, I, all in all, I mean, I do like the guy. I think that the punk frogs are a Adorable. I do hope that we get the other ones, such as Attila, Rasputin, and obviously Genghis. I don't know if we have any confirmation that that's going to happen in the future, but it would be cool to see him. But I do like the guy. He's pretty neat, and if you're collecting the Ninja Turtle figures, he's one that would fit nicely with the rest of your figures. But uh, beyond that, guys, that's about it. So once again, I want to thank you for tuning in. This has been Optibotomous. Don't forget that you can keep in touch with me by liking my Facebook page at facebook.com slash teambotomous and by following me over on Twitter at twitter.com slash optibotomous. Also, I'd encourage you to check out my website at optibotomousreviews.com where you can see all my videos from the previous week, see what I have coming up for future release, and also get your very own Optibotomous t-shirt. And finally, I'd also really appreciate it, guys, that if you like this review, don't forget to please like and comment and be sure to subscribe so that you never miss a future review. And until next time, I'll talk to you later.